Marat Safin, former world number one and one of Russia's most successful players. In 2000, he became the only Russian to win the US Open. He was hailed as one of the most talented players of his generation. But in the run-up to his maiden Grand Slam win, Safin was struggling badly. I was dropping my ranking tremendously. Actually, at the beginning of the year, I was I started the year 25. Uh, I made pretty good last uh, and the year before 99 finals in Bercy against Agassi. And all of a sudden, I started the year I couldn't win the match, and I got I got scared because I didn't know what to do, how to play, where to play, and uh, I lost completely my game. So it was for me it was uh, too much stress, and all of a sudden I made a few changes just to try because um, I was not going anywhere, and uh, the life started to change. And you start to get confident, but also you're not thinking that you're going to win a Grand Slam or any, anything close to that. Amazingly, Safin rediscovered his best form to make it through to the US Open final. But on the morning of the match, the 20-year-old was still plagued by self-doubt. Tennis is so often played in the mind, and Safin prepared to face the legendary Pete Sampras, convinced he had no chance. And all of a sudden, in, um, in the US Open, I had a couple of tough matches. And then I end up, uh, end up in the quarterfinals, uh, playing terrible. <clears throat> and um, I didn't have any expectation of myself. And also my, my coach was giving me uh, some trouble because uh, it was always a struggle every match. So he said, there, come on, how many, how many games are you going to win from Sampras? At least don't make ridiculous because many people are coming and you are 20 years old. So you're playing against Sampras, 20 years old and a full, full crowd. At least you have to make a decent match. And all of a sudden, just, I had no pressure at all. The young Russian was facing one of the greatest players of all time in his home arena. Sampras had won four US Opens. But Safin had gone on court calmer than ever. And ominously for the American, he started playing without any fear. It's better to play when you have no pressure. And actually when nobody believes in you. Because when somebody starts to believe in you, you start to believe in yourself, and you start to put yourself in a, in a position that, you, oh, maybe you have to win. Maybe you can win. You start to get tense, and then the problem comes. But if you go on the court knowing that you have no chance whatsoever, you just have to play and enjoy and try to win a couple of games, then it's a different approach. So thanks to the coach, he was a good psychologist. He didn't know about that, but he was a good psychologist at the time. Marat went on to outclass Sampras, 6'4", 6'3", 6'3", to win his first Grand Slam. But he remembers a bittersweet, life-changing time. You go to sleep, one person, you wake up completely different. And uh, the people that are taking care of you, they talk to you in a different way. It's basically, it's a very, um, a very uncomfortable feeling at the beginning. Very nice, obviously, yes, it's great, you know, like in a, on the court, but outside the court, it's a little bit... Um, new thing, new life, and it's, it was uh, very uncomfortable for quite some time because I didn't expect so much attention to, to myself and uh, I was not even ready for that. Marat did get used to it. That 2000 US Open crown was the catalyst for a career that saw him win 13 ATP World Tour titles and a second Grand Slam at the Australian Open in 2005. It was a different, uh, different mentality for me, and then I changed. That's why I have to work with the people, I have to, uh, I have to learn a little bit more to, um, how to behave, because I didn't, I didn't care about anything else, just playing tennis. Which is, um, but the tennis is only on the court, but outside of the court you got to do your job. For yourself, it's just uh, very important to say, yes, you, you see, I, I can do it. And at the age of 20, it's very important you, to get the confidence and to, to go through through a career, so um, I think it was that moment uh, flipped, my, flipped my life in a, good, in a good way. And after I won uh, the US Open and before, before US Open I was okay. Was I got to a certain level, but after that the door opened and you could get anything you want and everything you want, whatever you want, and it's all yours. So you just you have to enjoy it and you have to understand your way of life but it's a huge opportunity, it's just, yeah, it's a ticket to a new life, a better life, yeah. Marat Safin played his final match in 2009, and when this passionate, deep-thinking player finally hung up his racket, he could reflect on a glittering career fashioned by one morning in New York.